All right, what's going on, guys? We've got BFB Coliseum boosts only. Um, I didn't upload yesterday because school just started again. If you haven't seen my last video, I explained a little bit more about that. So, um, yeah, go check that out. But anyway, let's get into the gameplay. We've got Brown Lands on top. Um, I think that's a reference to the book songbirds and snakes or the battle of songbirds and snakes by uh suzanne collins if you haven't read that book that's a great book um but yeah so we got shallow river we're gonna go boat cobra boomer because this guy looks pretty good he's got the he had the skin he had the decent record so i don't think he's messing around so we're gonna start with the cobra then on strong and then he's going to be using the Cobra as well, so well done. <clears throat> so yeah, we're, we're going to be able to get our second Wired Funds up before the start of round two. There we go. And we'll start sending immediately. Um, we're going to have to get up our boat here shortly. Uh, I think I might just go for that right now. Perfectly afford it. Uh, yeah. And I think we keep sending at this point. So what we're gonna do, our strategy for this game is going to be, hmm, I don't want a really high eco because, I mean, normally when I go with a Cobra, I usually want to aim for a stupid high eco, like 600 plus by round 13. But this map, I don't think that's possible. So what I'm gonna try to do is, um, he's sending pinks. We're gonna get up another Cobra to help deal with those. Cause I wanna wait as long as possible before getting my grape shot up. And we'll get up a second or a third wired funds here. I'm gonna spike the end once. But anyway, as I was saying, I want to wait as long as possible before getting our grape shot up. And I wanna have a decent amount of eco, like I think our cap for this game is going to be around 450-ish. Not 100% on that though. I'm going to get my grape shot here uh, because he's sending blues. So we're going to have to get this up to defend. Um, we're probably actually going to leak quite a bit here. Alright, we're fine. So we're going to send greens here. And I might actually start... I'm, I'm going to switch to space blacks because we need to, we need to save up a bit of money for uh, defense. So, uh, he's got his Cobra army going over there. He's doing a lot more Cobra farming than I am, but I've got... I would guess I've got at least a 50 Eco advantage on him. I'm gonna boost these greens at him, hopefully. Because we're not gonna use all three of our boosts anyway, our uh, Bloom boost. So hopefully this blends with around 7 AI decently well and forces some defense. So, like, he's getting up some defense right now, so that's good. That's what we wanted to do. Um, I said 450 was my limit, I lied, I'm going to go to 500. Yeah, so we're going to stop there. Um, damn it, I miss. I didn't time that right. I could have gotten an extra 80 bucks from that. So, hmm, what's the plan? I think the plan is just to keep... Alright, never mind. Put that on close, and then we'll get this up to 1-1. Put that back on first. Hopefully this defends without boost. I think it should mostly with minimal leaks um yeah minimal leaks so that's good we're gonna get this up we're gonna keep cobra farming until round 10 and at this point we're gonna send him a lead and we're gonna need to get up our own lead detection so we're gonna get up a red hot rings then on strong he's gonna do the same we're gonna keep cobra farming um honestly a move might be a decent sized round 13 rush I'm gonna send him a small round 11 rush. Um, he's got a ton of Cobras over there. Like way more than we do. We're gonna send him a camo lead to force the cannon ship and then we'll get our own up. Come on forward, there we go. So honestly, a, a move might be to send a decent sized zebra rush. So that, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send, he's gonna do the same actually. I'm just going to boost that. And we're going to send some whites of our own. He's 
getting up a turbo charge? Buddy, just boost. He sold a ton of Cobras for that. If he sends a counter rush, we'll have to sell a few Cobras and get up a turbo charge. But other than that, I think we'll be fine. We've got a decent amount of money right now, so I'm going to invest them into Cobras. Um, yeah. He's going to send me a bunch of group leads this next round, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up a Bionic Boomer for that. Oh no, he's actually going to start balloon adjusting. So I'm going to get up a Destroyer. Um, I want to... I actually do want to balloon adjust soon. We're going to get up this Bionic though. There we go. This should defend. Crap, we're dead. <laughs> this should defend. Uh. Oops. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I wanted to start balloon adjusting round 16, but I just didn't have the money. So that's unfortunate. I completely botched that game. So I'll see you guys in the next one. We've got DC for top three. Um, no. <laughs> Waddle Resort's great map. I'm going to go DFA on this map because I uh, feel reasonably confident in my DFA game on this map, especially because it's a lot closer to place Spaltz down here. Um, hmm. We'll see what he's going with. Because if he's going like an aggressive Bow Farm Boomer strategy, that'd be annoying. Um... But it doesn't look like he is, so that's good. Come on, place. Oh my god, we're gonna miss out on our banana because of that. Yeah, we 100% missed out on our banana because of that. Damn it. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. So we're already losing this game, and it's 30 seconds in. Because we're not gonna be able to afford to get a. We're not gonna be able to afford our triple dart. Uh, because of that stupid trash can. This little trash can prevented me from getting up my farm early enough. Um, so that's unlucky. I will not actually layer into round four because uh, that triple dart spot is godlike. So um, we're just going to send him some pinks. He's going to send us pinks too, but the move would have been to send us uh, blues so that we would leak a ton more um but you know i might have had to actually boost if he sent blues but this way we'll be fine um with just this defense that we've got right now we might leak a little bit and i had to burn all my spikes but that's fine uh he just sold his zero two so we're gonna follow this up with blues and we're gonna layer greens into round three because it doesn't look like he's targeting his triple dart properly. So yeah, we're 100% layering this into round three <clears throat> or round six. And we're gonna boost these at him. And we'll see how this defends on his side. He's gonna get up a spike pult. Smart move, smart move. But we're gonna send blacks and those. Those should layer pretty nicely over the top. All in all, we got a pretty decent amount of ego from that, and we forced a bunch of defense, so I'm happy with that rush. So if he doesn't send me anything, I'm just going to get up another farm. It looks like he's not going to send me anything because he just got up his farm. So right now, yeah, that's what I thought. He, he needs to send blacks because he needs to force this send, uh, second trip dart, which he just did. And I think... So he's not going to have to get up defense for round 8. That's the... That's his, that's what he has going for him. So if he sends yellows, I'll get up a trip dart. If he doesn't, oh, he went for his farm, so I'm gonna go for my farm. I'm just gonna get up the start of this spolt here. Um, he might send a round nine rush, in which case we get up another spolt down here, but. Um, honestly, yeah, I think the move is to go for another farm. We will just barely be able to afford our jug for round 10. Uh, as soon as those leads show up. So, uh, I mean, I'm a little worried about that, actually. Uh, especially if they're regens. Crap. I'm not actually going to go for my uh, jug until now. Because now... All oh, right, we might have just lost. Nope, we didn't lose yet. All right. All right, that was dumb. I thought my triple darts wouldn't would target the actual 
blacks that came out of the jug, but it, they didn't, so that's annoying. So he's got his jug and his spolt. We've got our jug and our spolt. I'm gonna put this on last. I'm gonna put this on strong. And yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, I'm gonna get this up. So we're tied in farms. I think I've got a bit more eco, um, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna send him a small rush here and I'm gonna boost it at him. We'll see how this does. So he got his spolt up nicely, so well done. He had to spike that a few times, uh, but he didn't have to boost, and that's crucial. <sighs> We're going to toss him a well done, because he, he did handle that pretty nicely. If he sends us sleds, we get up another spalt, and that should defend. Um, we get up another farm. Let's see. If he sends us sleds here, I don't want to send him sleds, because he's already got enough defense for it. We're going to get up our BIA. And yeah, all right, this is going to be difficult to defend a boosted Moab on round 18, but we'll be able to do it. We might need to cash out our BIA, but we'll be able to defend. Um, God, I'm all over the place right now. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to get this up. We need at least six trip darts to defend this. So we'll probably have to cash out our BIA and then boost. If he boosts it at us, all right, no, we're fine. We're, we'll be able to defend this first Moab. Um, will we? Jeez. Are we dead? All right, I've, I've played both of these games horribly. I'm really rusty right now. So you... All right, last game of the video. We've got DFA or bad. Uh, I'm... I'm not gonna go DFA on Inkblot. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna skip Inkblot and we get Ice Flow. Almost as bad of a map. We're gonna toss him the crying emote. No, don't, don't. Okay, thank you. He skipped. So we've got area, area 52. This is a Cobra map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Cobra Cannon. No, actually, Tack. Tack is fantastic on this map. And then, actually, I'm going to go with the cannon, because cannon would be better on this map than tack, actually, now that I think of it, because that cluster spot is nutty. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, he's going to be mad that I'm going with the Cobra, because he says DFA are bad, so I'm going to guess he's going to go DFA, which actually on this map especially can counter Cobra reasonably effective, effectively, so maybe you'll be fine against this, but I'm not sure. He's gonna spike the beginning, all right. So we're only gonna get up one, um, one of these wired funds because we're not gonna be able to get up our second before round two starts because of that anti-stall that he did. But it looks like he's gonna be using Boat Farm Boomer. So well done to him. Um, he might actually be going Eco which would surprise me, actually. Because he's not... He went straight for his grape shot and didn't get a farm up. So he might actually be going eco, which would... Uh, it might throw our our um, strategy off a little bit, but I think we'll be able to manage. I'm just going to go straight for this rapid reload. Um, yeah, I think that's the move. Because it does look like he's going eco. So yeah, that's annoying, but we'll be able to beat him, I think. Because if we don't get to beat him with balloon adjustment, then early ZOMGs would be a good move. Or even early MOABs, honestly. Because that strategy, eco strategies, can't really deal with MOABs effectively if they're really early because they need a ton of money. And they don't have farms they can sell to get up defense. So I think, I think early MOABs might be a move if he doesn't succumb to the balloon adjustment. But we'll see how it goes. We're going to have to get up a Bernie stuff for round six. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get a Bernie stuff up for round six. So that's annoying. Come on, end the round. Thank you. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to get up a Bernie stuff as soon as we can afford it. Here in a second. Right there. And that should handle 
pretty much everything with no leaks. We're gonna keep sending space to Eco until we can save up a decent amount of money. He's leaking pretty nicely over there. Nicely for us, not for him. So uh, that's good for us. I do want to get up some more Cobras, but I just don't have the money. So we're not going to. The Bernie stuff is putting in work. We're dealing with his eco balloons really nicely. We're dealing with the AI really nicely, relatively. Um, I'm actually going to layer some yellows into here and boost them at him to see how that goes. So we're going to balloon boost this and we'll see how he defends. He might have to boost here. Yeah, he boosted. All right, well done. Well done. We're going to put that up there. We do not have to boost this. We'll leak a little bit, but we don't have to boost. So we're going to get this up. Put that on first, actually. And we're going to retarget this mortar. Just so we can prevent some of these leaks. Put this mortar up here for now for these regrows and the AI. And we'll send him a... Never mind, he's got his cannon ship already, so we're not going to send him anything. He's gonna send us regen leads here in a second, so we're gonna have to get up some Cobras for that. Um, all right, I think that's gonna be it for our Cobras for now. We're gonna get up a signal flare, just so that he doesn't catch us off guard with something annoying. And we're gonna get up a cluster as soon as we need to. He's got glue, all right. That's fine with me. I've got a decent eco, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I think the move for this uh, game will be to... Uh, first of all, we need a cluster as soon as possible. Come on, come on. There we go. So I think the move for this game will be to... Uh, go away, stop calling me. Will be to balloon adjust around 16 and then go from there. So we'll do that. Um, we're gonna save up a bit of money though so that we can we get up two more wired funds. I think that's the maximum wired funds we're gonna be able to get before round 16 if we wanna start balloon adjusting on round 16. So that's good. We'll start it now. And this is, this is good for us because his only camera detection at the moment is boats and he can only place two boats. So that's good for us. So the balloon adjustment should start ramping here in a second. And he's still egoing. I don't know what he's doing. You shouldn't be egoing, you should be getting up defense. Um, whatever your third tower is. Ninja, all right. Ninja, interesting. So we'll replace that mortar there so that we can catch all these camos on the AI. Um, and we'll keep buying balloon adjustments. And round 18, that balloon adjustment will kill him, I think. If not, he has to boost, and then he's dead anyway. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna layer some of these into the balloon adjustment and this will kill him. Yeah, okay, or force a boost. So next round, he's gonna need, he's probably gonna need like a Sabo at the very least. And then spam balloon jutsus, because otherwise I don't see him defending this. We're actually gonna boost these at him. I wanna see how he defends. Because I don't think you can. I think he's dead. Five lives? Six lives. Yeah, he's dead. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I don't know how to play this game anymore. So, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Like, sub. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.